Give me a minute and let's talk about the flooding in Russia. What you're looking at here is uh, part of Orensburg, or Orenburg, pardon me, Russia. A city of about 539,000 people uh, where the floodwaters continue to rise as the Ural River knocks one dam after another out of its path. Uh, and floodwaters just continue to build up behind these big ice dams that have been created following heavy rain. And in the wake of all of this destruction, what we are not seeing is a government response. The army is spread too thin in Ukraine. There's no Army Corps of Engineers to pull up, call out. They're all busy building bridges in Ukraine, trying to get across the Sarabets River. Now, this has led to quite a bit of unrest. You got a million Russians who have been flooded out, many of whom have lost everything. And widely circulated on the internet recently was video of a town hall meeting in which one of the residents suggested to the politicians uh, in charge that they could all be speared on pitchforks. That's a direct quote. Now, that has also led to this astonishing internet uh, missive. This young Russian woman has posted a video uh, in which she says people have lost everything, which is certainly true. But she then goes on to say, which is also true, Putin has not commented on this publicly at all. The president is silent. Peskov is silent. Uh, everyone is missing. All of our central Russia is flooded and they're quiet. Again, true. Then she says something that almost certainly will get her arrested. Putin to resign as well as all governors and all mayors. She wants a fresh start, all the politicians out. She does not stop there. She goes on to say, I think no inauguration, only resignation. And she wraps it up with, listen, why is everyone silent? Why are the mainstream media silent? Because they're not getting any help. They're not getting any help because the help isn't there. The army is stretched too thin. The government is stretched too thin. Russia's society is breaking at the seams. They are one natural disaster away from a full collapse. And that disaster is happening. Even now, the Ural is threatening to break through another dam in central Russia, which will cause more untold catas catastrophe. We are witnessing in the in Russia's invasion of Ukraine, a societal suicide. There's just no other way to, to sum it up. They are th The government is down a path of self-destruction and they are dragging 140 million Russians with them. And there's only so much people can take. As she said right there, people have lost everything and there is nothing more dangerous in the world than someone who has nothing to lose.